Yo, it's me, your boy, Shonen Boy here today. I'm here today to do a Ruby video. Now, let's get straight into this Ruby video. So, I have got a list of things that I want to go down of. Uh, this is my top 10 list of things I hate about Ruby. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because why not? Um, there is a lot of things that uh, are wrong with the series Ruby, and uh, the things I'm going to talk about, um, this is nothing against um, you as a person. So, like, if you get easily offended by things that I say about the series Ruby, uh, click off the video. Just click off the video, go and watch something else if you're easily offended by something I say about Ruby. Because um, this is the things that I um, have an opinion on, and these are the things that I want and um, that I have griped about with the series Ruby. Now, if you're offended by this stuff, click off the video and go and watch something else. I understand that, um, um, and sure, you can, um, you, can ha um, you can have a conversation with me and you can throw out your ideas and we can um, t uh, agree to disagree, but like, I'm not going to get into a long-winded argument with you about why, um, why X, Y, and Z um, is like good about Ruby. So yeah. So that is my little like you know thing at the start of the video. I have nothing against you as a person. This is just things I feel like I have a gripe with the series as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and I want to talk about it because um, it's fine to criticize a show and a series um, if you don't go overboard with it. I'm not going to go overboard with my um, with my criticisms of the show. Um, I'm just going to uh, voice my opinion about certain things about the show that I have opinions about. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so let's move on from that. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is Penny. I have griped about Penny um, because of the things that they, they did with Penny. Um, because they they folk they they really did Penny dirty because at the start of Ruby I actually really liked Penny. I thought that it was really cool that she was a robot and everything like that, and she didn't know, you know, human uh, um, interaction and human feelings and everything like that. And she wanted to understand that. And you know, Ruby was her first friend and everything like that. And it was the relationship was cute and everything like that. And I liked that. Um, Penny and the whole entire thing about sh her dying at um, and, you know I mean Ru uh, in Ruby Volume Three was good because it like I feel like it set the stage for Pira's death and it fe and it felt like you know Ruby was getting a bit more serious um, and I feel like Penny's death meant something and I was like okay cool that is cool like I I'm, I'm like I'm very happy that you know they took that you know sort of like you know route and they killed this character off and they they made it impactful they made us you know love Penny and everything like that then they brought Penny back in volume uh, I think it was like seven yes yeah, seven and I was like oh okay Penny's back how and then they explained it and i was like okay i can kind of see how she um, can be brought back to life okay where is this character going to go um throughout this story um and the um the way the character went throughout the story is kind of like why did you bother like honestly why did you bother bringing this character back if you're going to do this with the character like honestly like they just, they did Penny dirty. Like, honestly, Penny's death served a purpose in the story, and it made a point that Ruby was getting serious about the plot, and it felt like, you know, deaths mattered. And I was like, cool, that's awesome, that's really cool. Um, the main thing about, you know, this is in any show, not just Ruby, but in any show, if you're going to kill off a character, stick with it if you're not go if you're going to bring the character back for a reason then uh that's fine but you need to make sure that that death was meaningful and that uh, and that person bringing it back to life is understandable like you can't just 
bring back a character because you feel like it and you want that character to be in your story. Like, no. If the character is dead, keep the character dead. If they come back for a reason, make it a good reason for the character to come back. Because if the character does not um, have a good reason for coming back like Penny does, then it's like, why? Why did you even bother? Because Penny comes back and, like, it's all alright for Penny to come back. And then they, the problem is, is that she was still the same character. Nothing really happened until she became the Winter Maiden. And I was like, oh, cool. They brought her back because they wanted her um, to make her the Winter Maiden. And that she's going through this whole transition of becoming uh, um, a real girl. And I'm like, okay, that's neat. That's cool. But then they have the problem with turning her from a robot to a human. Um, um, with the, uh, staff of creation, and that was like, okay, cool, because she had that whole, uh, virus thing inside of her, and everything like that, and it was controlling her and everything like that, and, um, she had to, you know, get changed into a real person, and everything like that, I thought that was really cool. And then I was like, okay, she's a real girl now. She's had that transition. She's now the Winter Maiden. That's cool. Okay, now she's going to have all these human emotions and she's going to have to deal with that. That's really cool. I want to see where this is going. And then they kill her just for dramatic effect. And I'm like, why? And why John? Why John specifically killing Penny? Like, why? Why John? Like, John feels so out of place to kill Penny. And Penny should not even have been the one to die anyways. Because I felt like it was fine for the Winter Maiden powers to go to her. Yeah, I know that everyone wanted Nora to get the Winter Maiden powers and also Winter and everything like that. But I was fine with Penny getting the Winter Maiden powers and that would be it, you know? I was fine with it. I was like, okay, that's good. I don't mind. That's fine. I don't care. Okay. I don't mind that Penny had the Winter Maiden powers. I was fine with it. But then, for some unknown reason, uh, she picks Winter over, you know, Nora, which Nora felt like that she had more of a connection to Penny for some unknown reason, even though they've never really re interacted until, you know, Volume 7 and Volume 8, but whatever, you know, like, they were friends, I don't know, I never really saw them interact and being friends like that, but whatever, but I also felt like it was alright if Winter got the powers, because I understood that as well, but, like, I was fine with it, so... I don't know, but Penny, like, her whole character and her whole character development, it was just kind of like, why? Why did you bring this character back if you're going to kill the character off? And that's the same thing as well. When you're bringing a character back, don't kill them off again. Like, in any series, it's not just for Ruby. If you're going to bring a character back, don't bother killing them off um, because they've already been brought back to life. And if you're going to kill them off again, it's just like, why did you bother? Like, why did you bother bringing back this character if you're just going to kill them off again? Like, I know that some, um, I know that it might be a uh, dramatic uh, effect and it, it might be a meaningful death that they come back to life, but that's only if they can write it in a way that doesn't feel like uh, we were cheapened um, and, you um, know, feeling something for the character. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, whatever. Um, that was my first, you know, sort of gripe with, um, you know, the character Penny. Um, if you, it, um, you know, that's how I feel about Penny. So, yeah. Uh, moving on. Number two, Cinder. She's boring. Yeah, I, um, yeah. Cinder's boring. I fucking hate Cinder because she's boring. Her backstory was boring. Her whole character motivation is boring. She has no merit to the series like she's i think that honestly she might be the final villain i honestly think that maybe cinder might be the final villain of the series like somehow she kills um salem and she gets all of her powers and everything like that and she's the final villain like honestly i i honestly think that that might actually happen and i really hope that does that, that does not happen because 
I, I do not want her to be the final villain. I want Salem to be defeated and, the, uh, and Salem to be the final villain, okay, of this series. Or maybe even the gods, I don't care. But s I want Cinder to be defeated by Ruby and that's it. That'd be fine with me. Like, at the end of all of this, Ruby and Cinder have their clash and Ruby defeats Cinder. That'd be great, and um, somehow, some way, the powers go to Ruby. That'd be how I would write this, and that's how I would, you know, go with this. But like, that's where I would do. That's what I would do, in my opinion. So, uh, Cinder, I don't. Um, um, the main reason why I don't like Cinder is because she's boring, and she has. Um, the only motivation she has is to get stronger and power, um, and more power, and that's about it, and that's it, like, I really don't, uh, see why Cinder is always, like, pushed, and, and, and you know, um, is always being pushed onto us, it's like, no, this character's boring, you know, move on, you know, um, she should have died in volume 5, like, with, uh, Raven should have killed her, that ice, um, she should have fell down and split into a million pieces, and that's it, like, they should have moved on from um, Cinder and uh, she died in Volume 5. I'm just saying that's how I felt about her. But she is always being pushed onto us as, like, the big bad guy. And, uh, and she's, all, like, and she's the iconic bad guy. But, like, she's not that very interesting if you ask me. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, moving on to number three. Crow versus Tyrion versus Clover. I thought that this fight was dumb and stupid, and I felt like Crow lost a few brain cells in this fight. Like, seriously, I thought he lost a few brain cells in this fight. Like, honestly, like, like Clover and also um, Crow, put aside your differences and take out Tyrion, the main bad guy, you fucking retards. And Clover, Clover was cool. I actually really liked him. And then they kill him. And then Crow's got more shit to worry about. Like, Crow's been through enough. Fucking stop. Like, he's been through enough. Like, can't he have some happiness in his life? No. Like, they were setting up this whole entire thing about him being gay. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, he's gay now. I, I, I'm fine with that. I don't care. <laughs> Like, I don't care about, um, you know, the whole, like, you know, um, who bangs who in Ruby. Honestly, I'm not that type of person. I don't care who bangs who in Ruby. I just don't. Like, I don't care. And I don't know why so many people care about it. And there's a, you know, there's a, um, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a whole thing that I'm going to talk about in this thing I hate about something. But it's coming up. So, you know, um, but yeah. But, like, honestly, like, <laughs> this was, like, this was, like, so weird and stupid. But I actually really like Co Clover, and I really wanted him, to, uh, wanted him to stay alive. So, you know, it's weird. But whatever. I, 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 I could ramble on about that, but, like, it's, like, it's happened. It's not, um, it can't be reversed. Clover can't come back to life um, because he's dead now. But, you know. Uh, but, yeah. Um, mm. Um, number four, moving on, Robin and, um, and her happy huntresses, boring, why was Robin in the series to begin with, like, Robin it, um, is really, on honestly, an instigator, like, she is honestly an instigator for things to happen in the story, and she's not really a character, in my opinion, and I'm like, why, why was Robin even in this story to begin with, and why were her happy huntresses in this story to begin with, like, most of them were, like, uh, non-canon, um, side characters that didn't really do anything, like, there, were, there was only, like, two that did something, and I don't even remember their names, like, the little lamb girl, she was cute, um, and, uh, Mai or May or whatever her name is, the girl who could, you know, create a force field and everyone's invisible, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, I don't really care, but still, like, I'm like, why, were they, why were these characters created, like, honestly, like, they seem really pointless to me, but whatever, you know, uh, that's my little gripe, it's not really a big gripe, but, like, it's just a why thing, so, yeah, 
Uh, number five, volume five, because um, I put it in um, my fifth one because of volume five. Volume five is terrible, and everything about it is terrible. I could go into so many things about it that are terrible, but it's terrible. It is a terrible volume, and... Uh, and honestly, Rooster Teeth, you really fucked up on Volume 5. Volume 4 and 6, I can kind of forgive you, um, but um, Volume 6 is actually pretty good. I actually really like Volume 6, but Volume 4 and 5, like, I can, I can forgive you for Volume 4, but Volume 5, I can never forgive you. Like, honestly, that was garbage. That was utter garbage, and you should be ashamed of yourselves for that volume. Like, honestly, I... Like, that volume was garbage. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, moving on. Number six. Bumblebee. I don't like... Bu I, I don't mind that the two characters love each other. I don't mind that. That's fine. But I hate the whole entire feeling like it was kind of forced on to us. Like, um, or because of all the Bumblebee fans. Like, everybody was, and I know I'm going to get heat for this. I know I'm going to get heat for this. But I feel, uh, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I feel like it was kind of forced onto us by the Bumblebee fans. Like, they were like, um, Yang and also, um, you know, Yang and Blake are going to get together. They're going to bang, and that should happen, and this should happen, and this and this and that. And the, peop uh, and the people over at Rooster Teeth, I feel like they caved, and they're just like, f they're just like fine, we'll make it happen. And uh, then they did a bunch of things that didn't make sense, and now they're sort of together, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. You can make a character, you know, fall in love with this other character, and that's fine. And it was kind of set up here and there, but, like, it was kind of a lot of forcing, and uh, and then they got together finally, and now they don't, then they hardly ever talk about it. Like, if you're going to get together, talk about it at least, or show it, or show um, some, um, them, you know, they're having a relationship or something like that, because that was never really a touched upon. Like, they're sort of together and sort of not, but, like, now it's not really... I, I, I don't know where Bumblebee is at this particular moment in time. Like, are they together? Are they not? Please confirm. Like, I honestly want them to just confirm that they are together and then move on from this and just show it here and there that they are in love and they are a couple because that's all I want. I, I just want confirmation that they are together and everything like that because there's a bit and there's always these little hints here and there and it's just like are you together or are you not just commit with it like just commit like you know like i just want you to commit like, like you know i don't really hate the relationship um per se i just want them to commit to the relationship you know what i'm saying so yeah i don't really hate it i just want them to commit and uh, stop trying to you know hint to it just commit and move on because, honestly, I don't really care. I don't really care about who bangs who in Ruby. Like, I honestly don't care. And the whole Bumblebee community feels like they were, like, um, um, they're really hard on about, you know, who bangs who in Ruby. There's a whole, like, you know, section of Ruby fans that are really hard on for who bangs who in the series. Like, honestly, like, who cares? Like, they're, and they're, the, they're the really bad shippers. And I'm like, who cares? Like, you know? I, I'm, I'm a person who doesn't really care about that stuff, okay? So let's move on, okay? Uh, number seven, Team Ruby. I feel like Team Ruby... I don't really hate them per se, but I have problems with them. I have problems with Team Ruby because there's so, there's so many things about Team Ruby that I could go into that I have problems with that like I could ramble on and on about this, but I'm going to just do, I'm just going to pick a couple of things here and there about Team Ruby that I have problems with. Uh, let's start off with Ruby. She feels like a, um, she feels like a side character than a main character. She honestly feels like a side character than the main character of the series, and she's kind of just there and kind of boring. I don't like Ruby. She is boring, and she is not a main character. A main character is supposed to have like dreams and like is fighting for something, and she's meant to be going um, have a like you know going for something. She might she has to have like a dream or an aspiration or like she's 
she um she should be fighting something um should be you know fighting for something or you know something to keep her motivated and keep her going and you know for the viewer to like you know why this person's doing what she's doing honestly ruby has um, in my opinion, I don't think that Ruby has a dream or an aspiration or like anything to keep her going and what she what she's gonna be at the end of the day. She wants to be a hero, um, um, um or a huntress or something like that. She's kind of gained all that, and she hasn't really done anything, um, and she hasn't really got anything to really you know um spirit her on. Like I I you know, destroying Salem, you know, killing Cinder or, you know, defeating Cinder, like, I don't really think Ruby really wants to do that, she's just kind of in this situation because, you know, that's what I feel, you know, that's how I feel um, how about Ruby's whole situation, she's just in this situation because she is, and that's about it, and she has no real goals or aspiration or anything like that, like, She's already achieved that if her goal was to become a huntress. That, she's already achieved that. So, you know, I don't really feel like Ruby is a main character to me, and I'm kind of bored of her. So, you know, yeah. Uh, Weiss. Um, let's, I'm just going to go in order. Uh, Weiss. Weiss is my favorite girl, but I also have uh, kind of some problems with her. Uh, she's... Like, she's kind of just... Um, the same thing with Ruby, not doing enough, like, she's done a lot, like, she's done a lot, like, I, I, I'm, um, I'm pretty firm on Weiss, and I'm pretty firm that Weiss is probably my favorite character in all of Ruby, and I'm pretty firm on that she's the best Ruby character in the whole entire series. That's just my opinion. You might have um, different characters that you like, but that's my opinion. I like um, Weiss as a character, and I think that she's my favorite character in Ruby, but, like, I feel like she could, I mean, she could do a lot more. That's all I have to say about Weiss. She could do a lot more, but... Overall, she's a pretty decent character, I think. She's had a pretty decent backstory, um, you know, with her father and everything like that. Now he's dead. I want to know what the hell's going to go on with that. Um, I want to know how she feels about that. But, uh, yeah, I honestly want to know where Weiss is going after this. Um, but honestly, yeah, she's fine. She's fine in my books. Uh, Blake. Blake honestly feels like a whole brand new character to me because... She was all about, you know, Farnas and Menage away and also, um, you know, Farnas equal rights and, you know, standing up for the Farnas and everything like that. Then for some unknown reason, after Volume 5 and after Volume 6, it's like her whole identity has just been, like, they want you to forget about it. Like, forget about her being a Farnas. Forget about her standing up for Farnas equal rights and all that sort of stuff. Um, forget about all that stuff. This is the new Blake. Like, like honestly, Blake feels the most weird for me. Like, honestly, she doesn't feel like she was back in Volume four, uh, back in Volume 5. Like, she seems completely different, and she's all now focused on Blake, and that's it. Like, she's focused on Blake, and that's it, and what she is doing, and her whole Bumblebee thing. Like, honestly, all the other stuff, forget that. Like, like that's not Blake anymore. Forget that. Like, she just, and she's kind of just there now, so honestly, I have no idea where Blake is going to go from this on, uh, from this point on. And Yang. Yang honestly is the most boring character in um in uh Team Ruby. She is in my opinion. This is my opinion. You might still like um you know um Yang and everything like that and what she's doing and everything like that. She might be your favorite character. She was my favorite character at the start of Ruby, but now she's like the most boring ass character um um of all Ru of all the Team Ruby characters. Like honestly, I'm like, "Oh, Yang, cool. I I don't care." I, I do not care about Yang. Honestly, her whole, you know, thing with her mom was the only thing about her that I cared about. Um, her whole relationship with her mom. That's the only thing I cared about. And that's it. She hasn't um, had a talk with her sister at all. Like, the only time she had a talk with her sister was, like, a pet talk. And to, like, you know, buck her up. But, like, but that's it. 
She never har she hardly talks to her sister that you know is the is the main character of the series, and she's just like there. She killed uh, um, her and Blake killed Adam. Like that's never mentioned. Like never. Like well, sort of. Like it's mentioned here and there, but not really. Like never mentioned at all. Her whole trauma and everything like that gone away now. Like her whole character's gone. Like same with um, same with Blake. Her whole character's gone. She's so different from when she was um, um, back. Um, you know, back in Volume Five and you know, um, um, past series and also for Yang. But like. And that's fine, and the character can change, but, like, I would also like them to, you know, acknowledge it. Like, acknowledge that that shit happened. Don't just, like, say, oh, forget about this whole entire thing and just move on. Just, just move on. Just forget about it, you know? Just forget about it, you know? But, yeah. But that's the problems I have with Team Ruby, you know? I don't really hate them, per se, <coughs> but, like... That's the problems I have with Team Ruby. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, but moving on. You know. I'm, I'm moving on from that. Uh, the fandom. Now. There's certain things that I don't mind about the fandom. Like the fan art. That's cool. Like I love some of the fan art that comes out of Ruby. Um, the fan art is just chef's ki um, chef kiss. Like I love uh, some of the fan art. But there's some of the fandom that I'm like. Okay, this is so toxic and so just like, ill. Like that needs to stop. Like the whole um, who's banging who community um, in Ruby and the whole shipping and you know um, and not being able to criticize Ruby um, and you know people clapping back at you and saying nothing's wrong with Ruby. You're a piece of shit if you think otherwise. And they have and they think they have some type of connection to Rooster Teeth and um, and the people who make Rooster Teeth. You don't. You don't have a connection to Rooster Teeth. You are just a random person that watches Ruby. Like, get over yourself. Like, that's all I have to say. Like, get over yourself. Like, um, you're you're allowed to um, criticize Ruby, and you're you're allowed to have an opinion on it. And also, I kind of hate the people who just hate on Ruby because it's fun and it's it's cool to hate on ruby no get over yourself too fuck you like fuck you to the moon like seriously fuck off like if you if your whole existence is to hate ruby and hate this show fuck off like seriously fuck off like i could care less what you have to say about ruby if you have critical points and you have actual like you know critical things to say about Ruby and constructive feedback and, you know, writing decisions and everything like that, that's fine. But actually hating the series and hating Rooster Teeth, fuck off. Like, actually fuck off. I don't care. There are some things about Ruby that are really good and I really, really, really like, okay? And other people like that as well. Just fuck off, you know? Yeah, I, and that's all I have to say about some of the fandom, um, fan bases and fandoms about Ruby. Like, some people really need to get over themselves and stop, you know, bringing people down to their level and uh, and you know, and having um and you know having a go at them because they either have an opinion about Ruby or they criticize Ruby like I'm doing right now. But like, you know. <clears throat> okay. Uh, next thing. Uh, moving on. Uh, number nine. The Grim. The Grim are boring. Honestly, the only thing I like about the Grim is the Hound. Uh, the whole silver-eyed warriors getting changed into hounds by Salem. That's cool. But everything else is boring. The Grim are boring. I honestly don't know why uh, they're even in the series to begin with. Because they're not a threat. They are, they're creepy. And they are sometimes a threat. Like, don't get me wrong. They're sometimes a threat. But, like, overall... Like, some of them are not even a threat. Like, why why are they why are they here? Like, in mass numbers, they are a threat. But, like... They're just kind of... Fodder. Like, they're, they're, they are literally fodder characters. Um, to be, uh, you know, um, used 
for the uh, characters to have a goal, um, to defeat the Grimm and everything like that. So honestly, the Grimm, if they made him more interesting, I would care. That um, I mean, the whole apathy sort of uh, arc, I guess you could say, was cool. Like the whole apathy thing, um, those uh, creepy looking Grimm, that was cool. But like, other than that, they haven't really done anything about the Grimm. And it's kind of just like, why? Why are they even in the series to begin with? Like, you know, I'm just like, why? You know, like, eh? Like, the Grimm are kind of boring, um, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, last one, number 10. Uh, the character's acting dumb for some unknown reason to move the plot. Like, some characters in Ruby have acted really dumb to move the plot. Like, honestly, like... You know, the whole Crow versus Tyrion versus, you know, Clover thing, that was dumb. You know, certain other things are dumb. Like, the, like you know, like, um, Cinder killing Watts was dumb. Like, there's so many things in Ruby that are dumb that I'm just like, oh my god. Like, I, I know exactly when a character is doing some dumb shit. Like, this is not any series, and this isn't any series, not just Ruby, but, like, I clearly know when some, um, when a character is doing some dumb shit, and I'm like, oh, they're doing some dumb shit to move the plot along, I understand that now, but, like, in Ruby's case, they don't acknowledge it, they just kind of like, okay, this character's gonna act dumb for a reason, to move the plot along, and then we're just gonna move on. You know, like they don't acknowledge it. Like that was dumb. Like please acknowledge it at least. Like it would. Um, I don't really. Um, I don't really need acknowledgement from. Like I don't need. I don't need to be acknowledged or anything like that. Just say something so I know that like the characters understand that that was dumb. That's all I care about. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. But that's pretty much all the things I have problems with in Ruby. There's probably a lot more things that I could go into, but this video has already gone on long enough. So put down on your and uh, put down in the comments down below what are the problems that you you have um, problems with with Ruby. Um, if and if you have um, any uh, you know constructive feedback about the things I said, I would love to hear about what you have to say about the things that I dislike about the series. You can have a conversation with me and everything like that about the things I said about you know Ruby in this video. Um, in the comments down below, you know, um, voice your opinion. Um, I might you know comment back to you on something like that um, if I have the time, you know. But like, don't be you know mean about it don't be rude because you know there's nothing worse than you know someone being rude about it and you know um, and you know acting like you're not a real human being and everything like that so yeah uh you know if you have something to say be nice about it i guess but these are the things that i hate about ruby and these are just my opinion you might have different opinions and everything like that about ruby this is not against you as a person i don't hate you or anything like that i have to say this because you know people are going to take this the wrong way but you know but anyways that's it um, that, that's the end of the video, uh, this is your boy, Shonen Boy, signing out, you know, like, subscribe, comment down below, and, uh, that's it, and have an awesome day.